Hello everyone. Hope everyone had a what what break and also a good break for me. Hopefully not true lah. Sadly, I did not strike the $16 million total. But honestly, I was actually imagining what I had planned for myself if I had strike and was wondering how I could be the crazy rich Singaporean. I know $16 million, not enough to make me crazy rich. But every journey begins with a single small step, my right? Which brings us to our episode 4, which is the land that was talked about in a movie. You guessed it. It's the movie Crazy Rich Agent and this land was called Tyrosol Park. Before the movie, honestly, I never heard about it before and I thought they were referring to the Istana, but apparently, I was super wrong. So let's start with a bit of history of this Tyrosol Park. It is a historical estate bound by Holland and Tyrosol Avenue, as you can see on the map, belonging to the Malaysian state of Johor since 1862 which Singapore government did acquire back a bit of land for the expansion of botanic gardens throughout the years. This place was actually home to two gorgeous houses, Istana Tarasol Palace and Istana Woodneck, which look damn good in their prime, with the Tarasol Palace looking like a palace on top of a hill, while the Woodneck looking like the blue house in South Korea. For more info on it, those that like to capo more, you can find it in the link down below. But straight off the bat, still pian liang law. Because the one in the movie different from the one mentioned there. Let me show you the difference. This is Tyrosol Park that they refer to, probably Woodneck or the Palace. But the one they show in the movie is Kakosa Seri Negara, which is located in KL. But coincidentally, it is also inside a botanical garden. But KL one, not Singapore one. But this Karkosa Seri Nagara is pretty grand by itself with a long driveway in and also being the site used as the official residence of British High Commissioner, a hotel and a museum previously. They kind of dwarfed it because the size of Tyrosol Park was massive compared to Karkosa Seri Nagara but painted the crazy rich looks. Eh. But when I capo more about it, and I realise that it is not because of the looks of it, okay? But the substance of this Tyrosol Park. My Xiao Xiao, this land which is owned by Tunku Ismail Idris, Crown Prince of Johor, which is the size of 14.6 hectares, previously 24.4 hectares, which is the equivalent of 1,587.92 square meter for room flat size, all 20 soccer fields. And a quote by one said that if the entire estate was put up for sale, it could get upwards of $4.7 billion. Now, my godfather Mr. Wee Cho Yo and all his previous bulk purchase in my previous episode also seem like kuching kurang peanuts now. But steady, he still can buy because his net worth is approximately USD, ah, my xiao xiao, USD, $7.4 billion. So still got a bit of change. Lah. Sadly, the current condition of the whole Tyrosol Park is not in its prime now. With excess blocked by forests and woods, few have ventured in to marvel at the mysterious site, which, hello, is illegal, okay, so don't go people. But talks in 2021 have stated that they are in discussions to turn this place into a high-end luxury condo development. But imagine with it at its stake, and it still could fetch close to $5 billion. That's the scary cost of land in Singapore. But I'm definitely looking forward to what this huge area will turn into that will really show the gorgeous sights and culture of Singapore. Or maybe turn it into a museum and country club that you could rent and go and admire and soak in the historical wonders of Singapore. Because honestly, we got some pretty good history. There too being 200 years old since its founding by Sir Stamford Raffles, or even existed in the 14th century. I say again, Singapore got exist in the 14th century. Uh. And that is all we have for you today to Kepo. But do remember to like, share and subscribe if you like to Kepo more news like this. And I'll see you in our next episode too. Oh, and PS, uh, in our previous episode, we realised that the rich Chinese family that bought Eden at Draycott was the owner of Wang Wang. Kepo out!